well you saw this animated map and you need such kind of animated maps for so many reasons for your projects or for your videos for your travel logs or vlogs or it could be any reason so i'll bring you to the macbook screen remember it works only on macbook because for the windows i have other videos you can check around on my channel it's quite easy with some simple steps on imovie so let's go there to create the animated maps in macbook you already have pre-installed imovie software you can search imovie if it's not here then simply go to your apple store and here you type imovie and download and install it's an open source free software after that you open your imovie and here you will be landed to this page here you can create a new project you want to create a trailer or a movie just click on movie for now and here you will see different options you can import audio titles and backgrounds and transitions we're gonna start from the backgrounds in this section you will scroll up and down you will see a lot of different backgrounds but here are map options i will drag one map here and here you will see a lot more options right now it's as a background but we need to animate this one as a map okay in this section you will see the first option is map setting and then is color correction you can match a color if you want to match this color want to be something else like this color and you can match this color and click ok and it will be in that color for now i'm gonna press command z and now you see the white balance you can also adjust the white balance and in the meantime you can choose the skin tone here select anything you like all right so you can drag this one here and the skin tone will change and then you can keep that skin tone in the other section here you can increase and decrease the intensity of your colors and if you want to make it like way darker then it will look like this one and if you want to bring it up to this place then that looks okay and here you can change the hue and saturation of your map as i drag back it will look like this and if i drag this point there it will be more yellowish so let's come to the map and this is a still image i want this map to animate what i can do i can set one city for example washington i want to travel from washington to shanghai i select it and i can rename as well let's say this is home all right so we have two location mark now and you can reverse these locations as well you want to go from shanghai point a to b or from b to a and you can also select the map style here if you want to select this flat map then it will be a flat map if you want to select this one watercolor then the color will change to the watercolor all right so let's say we want this first one and we click on this one and okay if i play now this map will animate like this cool one thing more we can do we want this place a zoom a little bit whenever it reaches to that place so what can we do just go to the crop section and here there are different options can burn crop to fill and fit and here we can choose this option and make it like smaller up to maybe whenever the map reaches here it will zoom like this and now if i play okay the first part will be zoomed out and then it will go slowly to the location we selected if you didn't subscribe my youtube channel then hit that subscribe button and press the notification icon so that you will not miss the future opportunities to watch my videos that's it but what if you want to go to point a to point b and then point c you need to duplicate this one command c and here command v and now here our first part was washington to shanghai right so now what we need to do just stay on the map and here you reverse this is washington to home and here you can select shanghai and you can rename it home now choose the destination here let's say i'm gonna go to moscow so this will look like this one now if i play this is copied as we cropped this one and we can readjust the cropping here as you click here zoom out and this will look like that cool 
Now, if you want to increase or decrease the duration of this map here, you can bring it up to 2 seconds or 3 seconds, whatever animation you like. And there is another method, you can just simply make one animation and then go to copy and paste it here and then go to selection here and you can reverse this one. And here in the middle you can add an animation to make it more smoother. And in the meantime you can change another map. Let's say this map, I want to go from Moscow to London. And this will look like this if you want to zoom this one as well then simply crop tool and can burn all the way smaller and it will look like this if you want me to capture such videos in the future then consider subscribing that will be a plus if you want to make this part zoom whenever you land then you can just simply crop tool and here you can zoom that part instead of this one and bring it up to that place if you rotate, you can rotate the arrow and you can adjust this arrow by holding this one. So this place, I want to place it there and now I zoom this part more. Now if I play. Alright, so once you go to the start of this one, it will look like. This is in speed because I decreased the duration of the clips. Are you leaving? No, no, no. Who will understand how to bring an aeroplane or an arrow to indicate the map? All right. So bring a PNG of an arrow and here you click on this one and now click on this option and select picture in picture. This arrow is now small. You can and this is your first position. Make it smaller like this and here you will see the first keyframe. You can do it for anything you like a truck, an airplane or an arrow to indicate your location. Go to the beginning of this one and move this one here and give the first keyframe. After you keyframe your arrow it will look like this. You can place anything you like. Once you are happy with all of your animations you created in this map, then you can simply go to export and here you will see you can email this one or you can directly upload to YouTube or you can save it as a file or save current frame. So we are going to save it as a file and here you will see these are the options you can choose from the drop down list and you can see the size is 14 MB and if I just go for the best resolution the size will increase. And now next and choose the location. I want to save it to download and I rename is animation and save. It will export your video project you are all done. Here is our video. If I play, I didn't give any animations in the middle, so that's why there is no animation and I increased the speed as well to teach you guys. I hope this video will bring your map animation to the next level. If you have any question, any suggestion, write in the comments and I'm pretty sure you got an idea. If you like this video, then thumbs up, subscribe and press that bell notification. I'll bring some awesome stuff in the future. Bye bye.